Yordania memiliki peranan strategis dalam berbagai isu di kawasan termasuk krisis pengungsi dan penanganan terorisme. Dalam KTT luar biasa Oki, Yordania juga mendorong segera terwujudnya perdamaian di konflik Palestina-Israel. Kemarin sore pembawa berita CNN Indonesia Amelia Yahya mendapat kesempatan wawancara eksklusif dengan Pangeran Al Hasan bin Tala dari Yordania. Your Royal Highness, Prince Al Hasan bin Tala, would like to preface this by expressing our sincere gratitude. Thank you very much for joining us here on CNN Indonesia. Thank you so much for giving me the pleasure. It's a great uh, welcome that we have received here in Jakarta since we arrived. Your Royal Highness, uh, today is the last day of the OIC summit here in Jakarta. So how was it for you? How was the conference? It was um, a moving uh, occasion because I was possibly one of the very few participants who actually attended the founding meeting of the OIC in 1969 in Morocco oh. when, if you recall, a deranged Australian uh, uh, tried to burn the Aqsa Mosque. Yeah. And that's how the organization came into being. And to think that these decades have passed with the continuing change in uh, Jerusalem, I mean, we're talking about uh, over 600,000 uh, Israeli Jewish settlers uh, or uh, population in East Jerusalem even. So the Arab population is only 60% uh, of that figure. Yeah. So we're talking about uh, 60,000 people, that's only 6%. 6% we're talking about of the uh, actual population of East Jerusalem. And this uh -huh. is extremely worrying, of course. So it's not only you know, to come to Jakarta to explain a case. It's also to have some interaction and engagement. And, and I think that the fact that the Indonesia is opening a, an office in Ramallah is very good news because you're actually coming closer to events. Your Royal Highness, what fields or topics within the OIC would Jordan plan to enhance or develop? Uh, well, I, what I would like to say is, first of all, the OIC is much smaller than many international organizations, regional organizations, ASEAN included. And uh, what I said earlier gives the impression that it hasn't achieved that much on uh, changing people's attitudes towards Islam, particularly in these last uh, years. What I'd like to uh, uh, promote is an atlas for Jerusalem. Actually, we're currently working on one of our most distinguished uh, scholars, uh, Dr. Muhammad Hashim Ghosha, is producing an atlas. And uh, the Jerusalem Consciousness uh, project, which uh, we started some years ago with dynamic archival system with the uh, Aga Khan uh, Award for Architecture. These are the sort of things that I hope that when we're talking, we could have in the future a panel of Jerusalem in front of us so that our viewers can know exactly what is happening in each waqf, each religious foundation, each uh, sebil, each uh, historic uh, location of a, a water drinking fountain or a uh, zakat organization. These are the institutions that have to be revived to bring back the life to Jerusalem once again in yeah. its Islamic and Arab identity. So with the insufficiency that you have just stated, uh, does Jordan have anything to add in regards to the Jakarta Declaration or the situation between Israel and Palestine? Jakarta de Declaration is a crisis declaration because it comes at a moment where if what they call uh, Region E or Area E is uh, severed from uh, Jerusalem by this wall separating uh, Ma'ali Edomim, which is this enormous settlement that they started shortly after the occupation in 67 and going all the way to the Mount of Olives. There is not going to be any contiguity left between uh, Arab Jerusalem and uh, the, the West Bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is event-oriented, come back to the negotiating table, uh, develop an understanding of uh, uh, Jerusalem as a city of light, a city of culture, a city where maybe we can rise above the politics for a moment. The politics are desperately required uh, for solving inter-Palestinian uh, questions, and all of this is reflected in the Jakarta uh, uh, Declaration. But there are very few holy cities left in the world where you can hold consultations. And maybe, just maybe, Indonesia's uh, um, pilgrims visiting Jerusalem will bring new life to the people of Jerusalem with that interaction. 
Your Royal Highness, uh, international issues, uh, for example, like the refugee crisis, have become a mutual concern. Among others, also the uh, improvements and cooperation against terrorism. So, what are the plans or strategies does Jordan have against the fight, uh, uh, the fights against ISIS or ISIL or other terrorist organizations? Well, you know, when the Germans uh, uh, were two countries, there was the Democratic Republic of uh, uh, the East Germans. And they were always called the communist, the communist, the communist, you know, reds under the bed. Mm -hmm. Today it's sad that when you come to this part of the world or you go to West Africa, uh, people say Islamic State, as though this is the reality. Islamic State is being bombed, as though this is the reality. We are serving this uh, organization of outlaws and uh, uh, this organization of hard, uh, uh, concentrated uh, attacks on humanity. Uh, by making so much propaganda about them. But I think that there are two ways in which one can uh, recognize the importance of the threat. Incidentally, our cooperation with Indonesia is also security cooperation and military cooperation, and uh, with many countries in the ASEAN uh, region, because we're West Asia, you're East Asia, you've suffered from uh, attacks in Bali and, and, and many other places, and we have suffered most recently by the killing of one of our uh, officers and before that a pilot of the Jordanian Air Force, and we will not take this uh, lying down. So I think that also changing attitudes is part of the, 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 the issue. Security is human beings. We have to invest in, enable, and employ young people who represent 70% of the population and who need jobs. You don't throw money at the problem of fighting uh, a war against anybody uh, successfully. You have to know how to fight. And at the same time, you have to know how to wage peace. Wage peace is changing the mindset. Yeah. And I think that uh, at this time, people are very confused in the world. We're living on that cusp today between mad, mutually assured destruction, and mass, mutually assured survival. Your Highness, you had a meeting with our president, the Indonesian president, Bapak Joko Widodo. How was the meeting and what other bilateral cooperations would you like to enhance with Indonesia? I was uh, deeply touched by the uh, modesty and the directness of uh, President Joko Widodo and, and his particular emphasis on human dignity. And of course, he knows the figures better than I do in terms of bilaterals between uh, Jordan and, and, and Indonesia, ranging from mineral exports in terms of uh, phosphates and uh, building fertilizer plants and of course uh, I reminded him that it's called the Malacca. The Malacca states after all are the Encuentro, the encounter straits. So east-west trade I think will be enhanced by many things including the land route, the silk route and the maritime silk route which of course is part of the uh, exchange. Uh, we are a part of that uh, Red Sea, which of course traveled to the uh, Gulf of Suez. And at the same time, I think that there are many um, points to be made. One, a highly educated pop population here and uh, in, 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 in Jordan, wow. with uh, a view to hosting the World Science Forum in uh, uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. We hope that uh, Indonesia will participate. We also hope that. Uh, your participation in the Islamic Academy of Science is another aspect of uh, focusing on free zones and uh, recognizing the fact that our, our capital is our human capital. What we have above the ground is important, not only what you have under the ground. <laughs> so it was a very good exchange, and I think that uh, in particular, uh, bringing people uh, together, once again, I had the um, Hassan uh, uh, University honoring me with a degree and uh, they made the visit to Jerusalem and I, I hope that this human exchange uh, will uh, sow the seeds for uh, uh, better cooperation and, and engagement in the future. Your Highness, we'd like to once again express our sincere gratitude. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time here with CNN Indonesia. It's been a delight. Thank you so much and I wish you and the people of Indonesia every success. Thank you. Thank you. Simak World Now selepas jeda.